the O2 Tools by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you blending modes with custom shapes. Just a quick example of a few blending modes with custom shapes. Now, this custom shapes, the Graphic Extras design, and you can find it on the website, Graphic Extras website. And I'm just going to duplicate it. So I've just got two layers now. Now, it's a shape still. And what you can do then, just go over here to layers and just change the multiply. And move that around or linear burn and you can see straight away the change of the color obviously if you keep it normal and you just put it on top then obviously it's exactly the same as before you can drag that down with overlay difference difference is probably the best one in terms of creating some very interesting color combinations if you go back to the custom shape tool I'm going to just change the gradient there so I'm just going to go for that gradient again nice there you can just drag that down and actually if you combine that you can put that together and actually create some very interesting color combinations of course what you can do with that you can actually go to using that difference you can go over here to layer and layer content options and you can change the gradient at this point so you can just see you can change that and it's still got the blending mode as before still difference also go radial and move that around and of course, once you actually decided that's what you like, you can actually also make it into a smart object, convert to smart object, and then maybe save it to your CC library as a design for future projects. You can also use, and I'm just going to quickly show you that one as well. Just going to go back to that and create that design, create that design, put it to difference, and you can go to a layer and layer start and blending options. You can see there there's a whole range of other options here you can blend you can change that to create the change the blending but I'm just going to show you this one pasty and you've got difference difference is still there exactly as before so it's just exactly the same as was over here but what you can also do is you've got fill opacity you can modify that as well and you can change remove say like green and just use the blending with like the blue channel so it's a bit more sophisticated than just using the red, green, and blue. So you can create that as well. Click OK. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.